Yo, bunch of crunch army, where you at your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Man, I'm so excited, man. You know, we all know how entertaining, flashy, creative retakes can be to watch, but you know, they don't work so well in competitive game modes. And so outside of creative guys, like you need to preserve your materials the best that you can while still being protected. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be showing you the best high ground retakes you should be using in competitive play. But before we do that, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? Ace that bunch of crunch, woo. And let's get this going. All right, guys, so before we get into the first retake on our list, we need to talk about the high wall, okay? A high wall is basically when you place two walls stacked up on top of each other to provide extra protection for yourself. You know, we're gonna be using variations of the high wall for a majority of the retakes we covered today as it is arguably the most efficient move for protecting yourself and opening up opportunities for yourself to peace control your opponent. Okay, so we're not in the old days anymore, guys. Like, the main goal of high ground retakes shouldn't be to just distance yourself from your opponent to take height. A good high ground retake should give you guys the opportunity opportunity to peace control and get damage off on your opponent. All right, so now with that out of the way, the first high wall variation that we have for you guys is the high wall 180. The high wall 180 is definitely like the easiest retake on our list to learn, but that doesn't mean it isn't effective, right? So the move can be performed in a handful of situations. And so since this retake is reasonably mad efficient, this move can be great for the early, mid, and late game. All right, so to do that high wall 180, all right, start by building away from your opponent with ramps both below and above you for extra protection. All right, so once you feel that you're in a comfortable position with your bottom ramp exceeding the top ramp, pull out your wall piece. All right, in one swift motion, guys, you're gonna jump while turning around 180 degrees, placing a wall directly behind you with another wall stacked on top of that. And so once you land, immediately jump back into the air, but this time place a ramp directly below you for you to land on. So once you're in this position, it's really up to you to analyze the situation and really decide which of the following options is gonna work best for you. So if your opponent is on a ramp directly behind your high wall, you should make a window edit on your wall and place a cone above them to block them off. And so at this point, their momentum is gonna be halted, giving you guys the chance to crank up and take height. If you find the opponent sitting on a floor or a cone directly behind your wall, we recommend just going for the same window edit cone play, but this time, you can pull out your shotgun and take a shot on them. Depending on your opponent's reaction, like you can then either attempt to fully box them or just crank up for height and just play it safe. Lastly, if your opponent isn't behind your high wall at all and is just playing a few layers up, all right, don't worry. Like you can just simply edit through your high wall and place a floor behind it, and at this point, you can place a ramp on the tile to your right or left and repeat the same move over again. Usually if the high wall 180 fails the first time, once you do it again, you're gonna have a pretty good chance at it being successful. All right, so the next retake on our list can be very difficult to get the hang of, but once you get a real feel for it, I mean, it's a piece of cake. All right, so the high wall side jump is extremely mat friendly, using only costing around 60 to 100 mats. As the name implies, guys, this retake is gonna involve a side jump. So make sure that you're comfortable with other side jump variations before trying out this retake, all right? All right, so to do the high wall side jump, you're gonna start on a ramp with your cone above you. Just like normal side jump, you're gonna wanna move towards the side you choose to jump off of. And so before making the jump, play Place a wall directly above you through your cone, facing the way that you're gonna be jumping. All right, so this is gonna provide you some extra protection and just make the high wall easier to place. All right, so now for the hard part. With your wall still out, make the side jump while turning backwards a full 180 degrees. And so once you're in the air, place a wall on top of the one that you just placed to create a high wall. Then place a floor below you for you to land on. After hitting your floor, immediately jump back up and place a ramp below you. So just like before, what you do next, guys, is gonna rely on where you're in this position. But for a majority of the time, like they're gonna be directly behind your high wall. If this is the case, you can just simply edit your wall and go for a shotgun shot after fully boxing them. If after boxing them, they're behind a ramp, you can just spray their ramp with your AR or SMG to break and just replace it with a cone. At this point, they're gonna be in a box consisting of only your builds. So make, you know, whichever edit is safest for you depending on where they're positioned, all right? All right, so the high wall side jump has been one of the most common retakes in the pro scene for quite some time now. And this is really due to the low material cost and the likeliness of just being able to peace control your opponent using this move. This is a very quick and efficient retake that you can just try over and over again until you just peace control your opponent without just burning through your mats. All right, so the next retake that we got for you guys today is very similar to the one that we just showed you. However, this one is gonna require you guys to just be slick with your double movement. The double high wall side jump is slightly less mad efficient than the regular high wall side jump, but this retake, man, is just so much more versatile and it really allows you not to slow down your momentum if it fails. And so to do the double high wall side jump, all right, you're gonna position yourself exactly like you would with any other side jump. You just need to make sure that you're in a full sprint, otherwise it's not gonna work out. Just like the high wall side jump, 
place a wall through your cone facing whichever direction that you choose to jump from. For this video, say guys, we're gonna be jumping from the right. And so right as you're about to jump, you need to activate your double movement. For keyboard players, hold down your W and D keys while aiming your crosshair towards your left. As you jump, keep your momentum going towards your right as you place your first high wall. After a high wall is placed and you're falling downwards, place a floor below you for you to land on. Once you hit the floor, immediately jump again, keeping your momentum to the right to place another set of high walls parallel to the ones you just placed. As you're falling down, place a ramp below you for you to land on. Alright, so once again, the position that your opponent is in is going to decide what you guys should do next. Ideally, if your opponent is behind either of your high walls, you can just go ahead and just full box them and just go for a shotgun shot. If you can find them playing a few layers up in the air, we recommend just editing through the last high wall you placed. And after editing the wall, place a ramp with a cone on top of it along with the wall on your right to just block off your opponent's angle on you, alright? From here, and I mean like right here, you can just immediately go into a high wall side jump and just try to piece control your opponent again. You know, this is a great example of just comboing multiple retakes into one, right? Like, you shouldn't just always rely on the first retake you try to work out. Like, if the first one fails, keep your momentum going the best that you can and just immediately go into another retake, alright? This is gonna force your opponent to stay on their toes and just make it harder for them to predict where you wanna do. All right, so the final retake we got for you guys today was created by Physics, a member of Overtime Gaming. Physics is known for being one of the best builders in the game. You know, the retakes this guy can just whip out are absolutely insane. Although most of the retakes you're gonna see him do are usually only optimal for creative, the move that we like to call the Physics Side Jump can actually work very well in competitive modes. So just like the high wall side jump variations, this retake can be pretty challenging to learn at first, but once you guys get the hang of it, you should be able to perform this retake consistently. All right, so to do this retake, start by ramping out with the floor below and above you. Once you're in a position where your bottom floor extends past your top ramp, you're gonna just wanna place four walls behind you and to your right. The most crosshair placement friendly order to really place these walls in would be to start from the bottom left, then place one to the right of that. Finish this off, man, by placing a wall directly above the wall you just placed, and finally place another wall to the left of that. And so after you have your four walls placed, go ahead and just place a cone all the way above the two highest walls. Next, jump up in the air and just place a floor and a ramp below you to land on. At this point, you're gonna be in a position for a regular side jump. So do just that, all right? I'm telling you, it's gonna work. Place a wall through the cone above your head and make a side jump landing on a ramp. And so at this point, there are many ways that you can finish this retake off. But if you're just looking for the most mat efficient option, immediately just turn around 180 degrees and place a wall, floor, and a ramp. And here, you should be able to ramp towards your opponent. Just make sure, guys, to block yourself with cones as you progress up the ramp at the very least, all right? Ideally, just triple editing for full protection. But you guys tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. We know these retakes, man, may look a little overwhelming at first, but with enough practice and dedication, man, I know you can get this master, but you gotta believe in yourself. Keep going, don't quit, don't give up your dream. Keep grinding, all right? Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you soon, peace.